ओके एट एटी थाउजेंड ओके सो सो दिस इज द गी वन डेटा इन दैट क्वेश्चन वी हैव टू फाइंड द रेशो ऑफ सो व्हाट व्हाट वी हैव टू फाइंड सो वी हैव टू फाइंड इट फर्स्ट फाइंड फर्स्ट थिंग रेशो ऑफ पोटर रेशो ऑफ पोटर ऑफ कैंडिडेट A to candidate B, ठीक है हाँ तो बेसिकली इसने क्या पूछा है हमें रेशो निकालना है कैंडिडेट ए का कैंडिडेट बी के साथ वोटिंग का रेशो तो मुझे बताओ हाँ. क्या आएगा रेशो तो उनकी वैल्यूज का रेशो कैंडिडेट ए की वैल्यूज कितनी है वोटिंग की टू लैख फिफ्टी थाउजेंड टू लैख फिफ्टी थाउजेंड इज टू निकालना है मेरे किसके साथ बी के साथ सो वन लैख फिफ्टी थाउजेंड के साथ ओके साउथ इज सिंप्लीफाइड सो राइट टू लैख फिफ्टी थाउजेंड इन न्यूमिनेटर एंड वन लैख थाउजेंड इन डिनोमिनेटर ओके सो हाउ टू सिंप्लीफाइड जीरो जीरो गेट कैंसल जीरो जीरो गेट कैंसल जीरो जीरो गेट कैंसल सो थ्री जीरो दार कैंसल फोर जीरो दार कैंसल सो वैल्यू ऑफ सी टू ए So पहले सी को लो टू लैख फिफ्टी थाउजेंड एंड एसेंड इज एटी थाउजेंड ओके इज टू फर्स्ट एस वैल्यू इज टू लैख फिफ्टी थाउजेंड ओके सो वी विल टेक रेशियो देन वी विल गेट एटी थाउजेंड By two lakh fifty thousand. Huh. So what is so? Add all of the zeros. Twenty five to eight. Zero zero zero. These four zeros get cancelled. Then what values remains? Eight by twenty five. Twenty five. Is this two number divisible by any single number? Um. No. It's twenty five divisible by two more, right? So this is the final. Eight is to twenty five. Eight is to twenty five is the ratio. Okay. Hmm. Next. Case. Yeah, over here so, it says C number of votes of candidate C to the total number of votes. Very good. So what is the total number of votes? C is to um three lakhs. Very good. So first find total number of votes. How to find it? Add one point one five lakh fifty thousand plus one lakh fifty thousand plus eighty thousand. Huh. Plus eighty thousand. Huh. So we will get zero 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 here and then zero here. Five plus five ten plus eight. Eighteen. One carry. Hmm. Okay. Huh. Two plus three four. So here four four lakh eighty thousand is the total. Value of four. Hmm. Okay. Now C is eighty thousand. Ah, so C is eighty thousand, and we want ratio with the total. What is the value of total? That is four eight four four lakh eighty thousand. Hmm. So we will get a so ratio. Now for four lakh, so eight thousand eighty thousand upon four lakh eighty thousand. Hmm. One minute. Hello. हाँ नमस्कार काय म्हणता काय लेक्चर गेलो थोडा काम होत का हा नाही काही काही लेक्चर असतात एखाद दोन हो मी न करतो कॉल हॅलो हा रियान सो व्हॉट इज द व्हॅल्यू 
जीरो जीरो गेट कैंसल जीरो जीरो गेट कैंसल जीरो जीरो गेट कैंसल जीरो जीरो गेट कैंसल तो एट बाय तो विच नंबर डिवाइड डी बोथ नंबर इज इट फर्दर डिविजिबल टू 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 सो हियर इफ यू डिवाइड बाय टू एट बाय टू देन वी विल गेट फोर एंड इफ यू डिवाइड बाय फोर्टी एट बाय टू देन वॉट विल गेट ट्वेंटी फोर ट्वेंटी फोर ओके वेरी गुड तो इज फोर एंड ट्वेंटी फोर इज डिविजिबल बाय टू यस यस सो वॉट इज द वैल्यू ऑफ फोर डिवाइडेड एंड हियर ट्वेल्व एंड दिस इज फर्दर डिविजिबल बाय टू Yes, six okay. and one. So one is to six. The ratio is one is to six. So this is the word. This is the words problem, like daily to daily life things. Okay. Hmm. Next question. Question number seven. Hmm. Read the question first. Question. Divide rupees. Three thousand six hundred between Max and Jackson in the ratio four is to five. Sorry. Okay. Divide three six zero zero between Max and Jackson in the ratio of four is to what? Four is to five, right? Four is to five. Okay. So the total total amount what is it? Total amount is four three six zero zero. Three six zero zero. And uh, for this three six zero zero, there are two people. The first name that is the Max. And mm -hmm. the another person that is a Jackson. Mm -hmm. Okay, so we have to divide this amount in two part, like like four part to the max and five part to the Jackson. Four is to five. Okay, mm -hmm. four part four part of The total amount is to the goes to the max and fifth part of the total amount goes to the Jackson. This way we have to divide the amount. Okay, this is the question. So how to divide? So simply <coughs> add this part. So how many parts are there? There are two. Two to three parts. कितने पार्ट्स हैं उसमें? तो four plus four plus five कितने पार्ट्स हैं? Five plus five nine पार्ट्स बना दे. So four plus five, nine parts are there. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Which means, अब ये nine का मतलब क्या होता है? Nine का मतलब होता है means that every rupees nine share max max get four rupees and Jackson get five rupees. मतलब total मिला के ये nine बन जाएंगे, ठीक है? उसमें से अगर इसके पास nine rupees होंगे, तो nine rupees के कैसे part बनेंगे? Four rupees जो मिलेंगे. वो मिलेंगे मैक्स को और जो पांच रुपए जो मिलेंगे वो मिलेंगे जैक्सन को अगर उसके पास टोटल मिला के नाइन रुपीज होंगे तो ठीक है सो हाउ टू फाइंड जैक्सन अमाउंट एंड मैक्स अमाउंट सो जस्ट सिंपली डिवाइड दिस टोटल अमाउंट बाय टोटल पार्ट्स व्हाट विल गेट टोटल अमाउंट बाय टोटल पार्ट्स टोटल अमाउंट इज एटीन By total parts, so six zero zero divided by nine. Okay. We have to do three six zero zero divided by. Okay. What is the value? Nine was the nine. Nine for the thirty six. So here four hundred is the value. Four hundred. That means one part is one part is four hundred. Okay. Sir, I really do. I don't understand how you do this division का value. I don't understand how you do it. Division का value कैसे निकाला? Nine was the nine. Nine four the thirty six. Huh. These two zeros here. No, how do you divide so fast? नहीं divide तो मैं बहुत ज़्यादा fast करेंगे जो तो tension नहीं रहता ना इसमें क्या होता है देखो अगर कोई number के सामने zeros है like this. हाँ. Huh. Okay. तो बेसिकली हम क्या करते हैं वी आर डिवाइडिंग बाय दिस वन नाइन वन जा नाइन एंड नाइन फोर जा थर्टी सिक्स ओके तो फिर ये डिवीजन यहाँ पे डिवीजन यहाँ पे कंप्लीट हो गया अच्छा ठीक है हो गया तो फिर ये आगे के दो जीरो दो जीरोस पे रख दो बट व्हाट इफ यू आर मल्टीप्लाइंग बाय नंबर दैट हैज ऑल डिजिट्स व्हाट हाँ लाइक अ मल्टीप्लिकेशन 
300 by 9. So what will you get? 9 threes are 27 and these two zeros ahead. Like this. Okay. So the answer is 400 for one part. So how many part goes to the max? There is a four part. Sir, 9,027. Max ke pass kitne part jane chahiye? Max ke pass do four part. Four part jane chahiye na, usne bola hai na, four is to five ratio. Haan, mene bola na, four part. Haan, to four part. To four, uske part, part jane chahiye te, or ek part ki value kitni hai? 400. Ek part, 400. To isko 400 se multiply kar lo. So we will get the answer. So four, four the, four, four the 16. And here two zeros. Okay, huh. so max hmm. max ki, max ko sixteen hundred rupees milenge out of thirty six hundred, and huh. what what the value of Jackson? Jackson got five times of the four hundred, so he will get two thousand rupees. Okay, huh. Huh. so this is the actual value goes to Max and Jackson. How to find it? Huh. Just find the one part value. How to find one part value? Um, addition of the parts ko, total amount ko, addition of parts se divide karne. Okay? Hmm. Okay? Huh. okay? Yes. Phir hame ek part ki value milti. Wo ek part ki value milne ke baad, four part max ko jane chahiye the. Is liye four into one part value karna hai. Or five part Jackson ko jane chahiye the. That's why five into that value karna hai. So, then we will get the value sharing. Okay? Yeah, tell me. Briefly. So, first, we will get the total. Yes. Now, we have to spread it between Max and Jackson. In the ratio of 4 is to 5. Now, 4 is to 5 will be 2 parts. 4 and 5. We have to add those parts and we get 9. 4 plus 5 is equal to 9. 4 goes to Max. 5 goes to Jason. Either one. Then total parts. Then we do that. We find the like 9 divided by 3600 equals 400. So 4 into 400 and 5 into 400. 4 into 400 will be 1600 will go to Max. And 2000 will go to Jackson. Okay. So this is the shareholding pattern of both the Max and Jackson. Huh. Okay. Yeah. So next portion. That is that is the proportion. Next thing that is the proportion. Hmm. Proportion huh. is the uh, relation between two ratios. That is called as proportion. Huh. Okay. Huh. So proportion denotes by four dots. Okay. Uh, proportion four dots say denote karte hai or equal to say denote karte hai. Proportion denoted by four dots like this. Okay. Huh. Or equal to. So there are, if we, if we have a two ratios and they are equal, then we are writing this manner. So if we have a one by two here and another ratio that is four by eight, is this hmm. both ratios are equal? Um. Is they are equivalent? No. Equivalent? Nahi hai? No. Equivalent? Hai ya nahi? Kaise check karenge? Arey ha equal hai. Kaise check karenge? Very good. Uh, simplify the four into eight. Ha, to four into four by eight ko simplify karne ke baad kya milega? One by two. To ye bhi one by two, ye bhi one by two. To sir equivalent hai ya nahi? Ha. Hai. To equivalent ko proportionately kaise bolte? Ye char dot dikha ke bolte sir. Hmm. Okay. ठीक है नहीं तो इसको ऐसे इक्वल टू दिखाते बिकॉज़ दे आर इक्वल हां और वी कैन राइट 1/2 4 डॉट्स 4/8 और वी कैन राइट इन द रेशियो आल्सो सो व्हाट इज व्हाट इज द रेशियो ऑफ 1/2 1 2 ओके हां देन वी विल गिव 4 डॉट्स फॉर प्रोपोर्शनलिटी एंड देन 4 8 गॉट इट देखो कैसे लिखा है ये पहला फ्रैक्शन है ये वाला दिख रहा है हां फिर ये फोर डॉट्स फोर डॉट्स किसके लिए रहते 
प्रोपोर्शनैलिटी के लिए हाँ. मतलब ये दोनों इक्वल है इसको दिखाने के लिए ठीक है हाँ. और फिर ये आगे का जो रेशियो रहता है वो ये रहता है हाँ. समझ गया हाँ. क्या समझो बताओ जल्दी सर ओवर इट्स इधर लाइक दिस लाइक वन एस टू टू इज इक्वल टू फोर एस टू एट अदरवाइज इन प्रोपोर्शन वी आर राइट वन एस वन अबाउंट टू वन एस टू टू विथ द फोर डॉट्स एंड देन फोर अबाउंट एट और वन अबाउंट टू फोर डॉट्स फोर एस टू ओके सो इन दिस केस This first, this first, this extreme, extreme का मतलब क्या होता है बाहर वाले इसको क्या बोलते हैं एक्सट्रीम एक्सट्रीम मतलब बाहर वाले जो दो नंबर है मतलब कौन है यहाँ पे वन इंटू एट ओके या और जो, जो अंदर वाले जो नंबर होते हैं ठीक है दोनों हुँ. वो अंदर वाले नंबर को बोलते मींस मींस ओके मींस मींस इनसाइड नंबर्स एक्सट्रीम मींस आउटसाइड नंबर्स ओके हा सो व्हाट इज द प्रोडक्ट ऑफ मींस दैट इज टू इंटू फोर ओके हाँ बताओ यहाँ पे क्या समझा So extreme is the ones that are on the outermost, which will be one into eight, and means are the ones that are in the innermost, which will be two into four. Ah, in inside numbers are called as means, and outside numbers are called as extreme. If we have a product of means and take a product of extremes, the product of mean and product of extremes should be equal in this case. So the condition is that product of product means multiplication. Hmm. Multiply product of means it should be equal to product of extreme okay agar ye condition satisfied so, hoga tabhi ja ke wo proportionate rahenge hmm. okay so like so same or one second ha so, so here so, what is the product eight, of means that is 2 into 4 and what is the product so of so this 1 into 8 yes, Okay. Uh -huh. What is the product of two eight two into two two into four? That is eight. And what is the product of one into eight? That is eight. So is this product uh -huh. of both the sides are equal? So you are saying one thing. This and this product of extreme and mean will be the product of the same that are on the innermost and outermost of eight, eight, two is to four and two is to one is to eight like that. Yes. So one into eight का value eight आता है और two into four का value eight आता है. And I have to simplify it to find out if it's an equivalent or not. हाँ, equal को हम बोलते हैं proportionate or not. हाँ. Is it proportional? Proportional or not? Is it is is it in proportional? Then this condition should be satisfied. Okay. This whole thing is just like a proportional thing. हाँ. To find out if it's in proportion. Proportional and this is a, just a method to find out if it's in proportion. Yes. Okay. So let's go to question. Read the question. Example number eight. Example number eight. Yes. Hmm. Uh, are six, nine, twelve, and eighteen proportion? हाँ. तो यही question पूछा है उसने. ये proportional है क्या? ठीक है? तो चेकिंग करने का प्रोसेस मैंने कैसे बताया फर्स्ट फाइंड रेशियोज सो हाउ टू राइट दिस फोर फोर नंबर इन रेशियोज सो रेशियो ऑफ दिस टू नंबर एंड रेशियो ऑफ दिस टू नंबर शुड बी इक्वल ओके सेम Ah, so what yeah. is the ratio of first two numbers and second two numbers? These are the two separate ratios. Uh, ratio so six by nine is one ratio. Six by nine is twelve by eighteen is one ratio. Okay? But we can we can simplify two by twelve even. Ah yes, we can sim first simplify the ratios. So what is the simplification of this first ratio? 
that is we can also so write three three is a so simplified okay, answer yeah. two by three okay this is our simplification what is cut it uh, this will be six, six and so the, and six three the, so nine also two by three so this will be nine or two so this so this can also be two but we're showing it as nine two two but we're showing it as nine we're showing it as nine so it can be equal two two say karo pehle two six za twelve two eighteen nine za eighteen okay then two then we cut it down with three two three za two four za so we you can still so we you can still six will also be cut out with two only na two two za two three za and two three za yes Hmm. The answer so it'll be two by three. This is the first ratio. So this is equal. Eh? This is the first ratio, and this is the two second. Ratio. Three. And we have to uh -huh. find the proportion. That we have to prove that this is the are in proportion. So ये एक method है इसको prove करने की कि ये दोनों equal हैं. क्या आ गया? हाँ. This is the method number one. ये आपका एक तरीका हो सकता है. या second option. We have to find if it's equal. हाँ. ये एक ये एक कंडीशन है कि ये दोनों इक्वल आ रहे हैं तो फिर ये प्रोपोर्शन में है ओके okay? और दूसरी भी मेथड है मेथड मेथड नंबर टू भी है मेथड नंबर टू मतलब अभी जो हमने देखा प्रोडक्ट ऑफ मीन 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 एंड एक्सट्रीम इज इक्वल टू प्रोडक्ट ऑफ एक्सट्रीम होना चाहिए ठीक है ठीक है सो वी वुड राइट इट डाउन एज सो सिक्स टू एटीन इसका आंसर कितना आना चाहिए दे आर इक्वल विल बी Also one zero eight. It's also one zero eight. Yes. So they are equal. So that's why we are saying these four numbers are in a proportion. So this is the method number two, and this is the method number one. Which one is more comfortable to you? Uh, method number one. Yeah. One अच्छा है क्या? हाँ. हाँ तो one com one को use करो, two को रहने दो. ठीक है? हाँ. Okay. हाँ. Okay. Read the question number nine. Question number nine. In a proportion, the first, third, and fourth terms are three, fifteen, and thirty-five. Okay. Especially find the second term. First, third, three, fifteen, thirty-five. And fourth, fourth term, term. Are given. Are three fifteen thirty five. Find the second term. Three fifteen and thirty five. Three fifteen huh. and thirty five. Find huh. second term. Okay. Second term will be nine. I'm pretty sure. देखो कैसे निकालेंगे इसको वो term का जो है ना वो इसमें चार चीजें रहती है बराबर है first, second, third, fourth. Okay. तो यहाँ पे सेकंड भी होना चाहिए था ना सेकंड टर्म वट इट दिस इज मिसिंग तो सो सो दे आर इन प्रोपोर्शन उसने पहले ही बोला है इन अ प्रोपोर्शन क्वेश्चन स्टार्ट बाय विच सेंटेंस इन अ प्रोपोर्शन हाँ तो प्रोपोर्शन है तो वो रूल फॉलो होना चाहिए कौन सा रूल ये प्रोडक्ट ऑफ मीन प्रोडक्ट ऑफ एक्सट्रीम प्रोडक्ट ऑफ मीन Is equal to product of ऐसा क्यों होना चाहिए क्योंकि वो प्रोपोर्शन में है ठीक है तो इस रूल में मुझे बताओ ये ये रूल क्या बोलता है पहला और चौथा मतलब ये एक्सट्रीम रहते दोनों बराबर है वन एंड फोर तो वट इज द प्रोडक्ट ऑफ मीन दैट इज सेकेंड टर्म एंड थर्ड टर्म वट इड ओके सो 
fourth we will take a we will take a product second term into what is the third term 15 okay 15. and product of extremes so what is the extreme there is a 3 and 35 huh. so this condition should be satisfied if they are in proportion so we what we want okay. we want three. second term this this one term okay so we have to divide this 15 to the right side okay हमें सेकंड टर्म चाहिए सिर्फ तो हम ये 15 को यहां पे डिवाइड कर लेंगे सो so, 3 into 35 डिवाइडेड बाय 15 व्हाट इज तो इसको अभी सिंपलीफाई करो तो 3 1 3 3 3 1 5 15 3 3 3 3 5 5 1 5 5 7 35 सो सो सेकंड टर्म विल बी 5 5 how to solve it? Tell me. Sir, 5 is 5, 35 into 3 is the product. No, I will tell you first. First, I have taken this mean product. How did I take it? Okay, so first, first product of extreme and then product of... So, for product of extreme is 35 into 3. 35 into 3. 35, 3 cancel, 3, 7, 15. Second term is into 15. 3 into 35, so we're extreme, second term equals to 35, 3 into 35, 7, cut, 15, um, 5, 1, 7, so 5, and 5, so 5, cut, 7, and the second term is the last number from the decimal, 7, so 5. Why we are taking a product of mean is equal to product of extreme? Because we're trying to find product of second term. We have to find a second term, but why we are using this condition? Because in question, there is a mention. It's given proportion. Ah, so that's why we are using this condition. Okay. Huh. Okay. The next question. Question number 10. The ratio of number of dogs saved by an NGO in the month of June to July is 7 to 9. 7 is to 9. They save 135 dogs in July. Then how many dogs did they save in June? 7 is to 9. But how can I question? So in the question, I answered the ratio of number of dogs saved by the NGO in the month of June to July. And the ratio is 7 is to 9. And they saved 135 dogs in July. And they haven't mentioned how many they have done in June. So you have to find the ratio. You have to simplify the ratio. Multiply it by the dogs. Number of dogs in June. Then NGO. Then the month. The amount of set. And we have our product. Or we can also do it using product means. Product mean of an extreme. Okay. Hello? Okay, okay, one minute. So, here is the one condition. So, the ratio of number of dogs saved by NGO in month of June to July, that is 7 by 9. It's like a ratio of 1 okay. and... June to July, that, that 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 the dogs saved by NGO, that ratio is And if they save 135 dogs in July, then uh -huh. how many dogs did they save in June? They go both basic question. Hai ye. Matlab ye ise question hai ki they saved uh, what is the ratio? The uh, ratio, ratio is seven to nine. Seven is to nine. In June to July. June. That is seven is to nine. Okay. Nine. Haan. Jab bhi aise baat karega, to seven is to nine rahega, thik hai. ओके वेट सो ओके अब ये बात कर रहा है कि देन व्हाट इज द वैल्यू ऑफ डॉग डिड दे सेव इन जून ओके सो लाइक इन जून टू जुलाई तो लेट वी एज वी फोकसिंग ऑन फर्स्ट फर्स्ट द रेशियो 1 मिनट फर्स्ट वी अज्यूम व्हाट व्हाट वी वांट 
that called as X. Okay. Huh. So dogs X. they saved in June. Dog they save in June. We called as X. Okay. X. Okay. So how many dog they save in July? In second case. In July they save um one thirty five dogs. In July that is one thirty five. Okay. तो क्वेश्चन उसने ये पूछा है कि अगर 135 थर्टी फाइव डॉग अगर ये सेव करेगा तो फिर एक्स कितना होगा ठीक है अगर 135 तो एक्स मतलब एक्स मतलब जून में कितने डॉग सेव किए थे अच्छा हमने वो एजूम कर लिया लेट लेट एजूम ठीक है हाँ हाँ तो हमें एक्स निकालना है बेसिकली ओके या सो हमें क्या करना है ये दोनों रेशियो जो है ना वो इक्वल हो क्योंकि एक ही महीने के है वो जून जुलाई जून जुलाई हाँ. मतलब ये रेशो और ये रेशो इक्वल होना चाहिए हम्म क्यों इक्वल होना चाहिए क्योंकि एक ही महीने के डेटा है वो जून जुलाई का जून हाँ. जुलाई का डेटा ठीक है सो विच कंडीशन शुड बी सेटिस्फाइड प्रोडक्ट ऑफ एक्सट्रीम आर इक्वल ऑफ प्रोडक्ट ऑफ मींस मींस ओके सो व्हाट इज द प्रोडक्ट ऑफ एक्सट्रीम क्लियर है लेफ्ट साइड सो दिस इज मल्टीप्लाइड टू एक्स so it will divide in left side okay ha huh. so 135 divided by 9 so we will get x right side okay x in right side huh. so what is the division of this so 9 can divide 135 yes it is 9 ones are 9 yes 9 can divide 135 9 ones are 9 so there are four remains 9 5 is 45 okay divide here Nine one zero nine, so here four remains. Then five comes to down. Then nine five is a forty five. Fifteen. Fifteen. So fifteen here and seven. So what is the value of x? That is seven into fifteen. So we will 15. get x. So what is the value of seven huh. into fifteen? Value of seven into fifteen. Um, one zero seven into fifteen one zero five. Okay, so we are assuming x at what value dog saved in June. So write complete answer. So one zero five one zero five dogs saved in June. Saved by NGO in, in June. 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 Okay. How to solve it? Yeah. Tell me briefly. Okay. First, dog. How many dogs did they save in June? It has not been given, so we'll mark it as X. Dog saved in July is one thirty-five. Now the ra the ratio they give us is seven is to nine. Now we will use met this extreme and name method. So we will do a seven into one thirty five and nine into x. Seven into one thirty five, fifteen after it. Seven into one thirty five will be nine four five x. And then we divided by nine, which will be fifteen. So fifteen nine into x nine. Then seven into fifteen equals to x, and then one zero five will equal to x because seven into fifteen equals one zero five. And one zero five is what x is. 
Okay. So this 15. type of sum, this type of sum comes in your exam. Okay. Oh. Yes. So now the next topic, the last topic of this chapter is unitary method. Unitary method. Okay. Yes. Rejoin the lecture. Okay. Yes. Rejoin after finishing the lecture. So we will cover this complete chapter and stop. Huh. And all the best for your exam. Yes, thank you, sir. Okay. So, uh, what is the unitary method? So, the name shows the concept of that topic. First, find the unit value or the uh, unit part of that value and then multiply the concept. Like okay. 110. ठीक है मैं बताता हूँ इसको रिजॉइन करो वापस से लेक्चर ठीक है हम्म 